Yo, welcome back everyone, this is Stu42 with what will probably be the last episode before Christmas. I've, uh, I'm flying out tomorrow, heading back to New Zealand where my, uh, where my parents and family and I've got a niece and nephew and everything over there, so uh, I'll be going and spending Christmas with them, which means I will not be playing uh, Minecraft for, I don't know, probably about a week or so, so I'm hoping to make a few more videos as a catch up when I get back. Uh, but before I leave, I wouldn't mind making just one more quick video. I thought I would uh, put those emeralds to good use that we got in the last episode and make some decent armor. Uh, oh, while we're here, we'll, this is the first time I'm logging into this for the day, so get, might as well get our, uh, get our ender pearls for the day. Uh, so what I might do is I was going to make some of the dark steel armor. Now the dark steel armor, I have uh, I've got 47 of those made already. Uh, I am going to need some emeralds for it. Uh, and the reason I'm going to need some emeralds is once we've made... Actually, I made some earlier. If you remember one of the previous episodes, I've already made the, the pants and boots. But what I need to do, if I hover, if I would shift over there, empowered, I need a vibrant crystal and 20 levels. So, we're going to need to make some vibrant crystals, which are basically some vibrant alloy nuggets around an emerald. And the vibrant alloy nuggets come from vibrant alloy, and vibrant alloy comes from energetic and an enderpearl in the alloy smelter. So, we're going to need a few of those, so let's grab... I'll grab, uh, so energetic alloy is made with, just shuffle that, is made in here under alloy with glowstone, redstone, and gold. And that should happen fairly quickly to make us some of the, the first alloy we need. Uh, actually, while we're here, let's have a check of this. Yep, another day has gone past. Got another two emeralds. Excellent. That's just enough of a trickle for what I need. In fact, after making these vibrant alloys, I'm not sure there's really a heck of a lot um, we need. So what I'm going to do is instead of leaving all of these running, I'm going to take that out. I'm going to need, again, the ender pearls that we've been doing. So let's get four of those. And now we put the energetic back up. Put the ender pearls. And this should give us enough of what we need. Now, also, we're going to need the helmet. Because I'm going to make a full set. And the chest piece. So, the dark steel is actually made in this alloy smelter as well. Um, the dark steel is made out of uh, pulverized or crushed coal. Uh, and iron and obsidian, I believe. Uh, so... None of it's too hard to get. You just, you know, crush your coal on there. Uh, the obsidian I get from my igneous extruder. So this has got a, a water thing at the back, keeping the water full. And then I just go and uh, throw this portable tank on top. And then I can hit that blue bit at the bottom and it'll drain the lava into there and make me a... Well, how much lava's in there? 32. So it'll make me 32. Half a stack of obsidian at a time, which is a pretty handy way of doing it. So now that that's out, I might as well finish the rest of that. Uh, and now we need to grab that. So we're going to have a few left over. So let's get our vibrant alloys, four of them. Now the other thing we're going to need is an anvil. Because you can't upgrade anything without the anvil. So there's three of those. And... Makes our anvil. We can put our anvil. Uh, you know what? Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to throw it there. Uh, and now we're going to need a bunch of levels. So that one's going to need a crystal plus 20 levels. 20, 20, 20. So it's the first 20. Now I've been storing my XP in here, um, jumping over this great every time I go past, and it's gradually been filling up. So if we right click with an open hand, we can get to 20. Now what we should do is do 20 first and then make one. So we will put our vibrant alloy. And then we have our dark helm that's powered. And then 
As you can see, I've been storing this XP for a while. I knew early on that I was going to need it, so I've been uh, storing it for quite some time. Twenty look doesn't even seem to be making a dent in it. That's fantastic. One more. And that's the boots. Awesome. So now what I might do as well, throw all those back. Now if we hover over shift now, or hold shift over these, they change what they need. So we can have empowered two, we can have night vision, we can have revealing. Uh, one of the ones that I really wanted to do was speed, which is a potion of swiftness. Now potion of swiftness is gonna take a few things. Uh, last time I looked, yeah, it doesn't show up in here, but you can actually make one. So uh, we need the brewing stand, which is cobblestone. Oh, a blaze rod. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to do this this time. I'm going to have to leave the potion of swiftness out. I haven't got a blaze rod at all. Um, I could compress one. Out of some blaze powder, I think I might have some of those somewhere. So yeah, this is going to wait a while. I haven't seen any blazes yet. Uh, so no speed for me. Uh, flippers could be good. I don't know if I've got a lily pad though. Uh, jump. Jump can be kind of fun. 10 levels plus a piston. That's nice and easy to do. I think I've even got a piston made up. Cool. So 10 levels. Now I think jump actually lets you run up single blocks, not the pants, it's the boots, I think. Yep, there we go, so it's now got jump on them. Uh, so jump now lets you increase your step height, so that'll let me just run straight up, uh, straight up a one block thing. So uh, what I might do is I will put those in to charge, because now that we've empowered them, we can, we can recharge them, which means we don't need to repair them as long as they've got power. So if we throw these on. Look at my armor full. And I should be able to run. And yep, it just hops straight up the straight up the gap. And my jump. Look at that, I can jump two blocks. Two blocks high now. Which is fantastic. Which means I also don't need the gates. Because what two blocks high means is I can jump right over the fences. And being able to jump over fences is pretty cool. Also stops the animals from getting out. Uh Okay, so we got some eggs there. So uh, I don't, I'm not sure what else I want to put on these. Uh, I mean, I could do the basic capacitor. In fact, I might do the basic capacitor, just give it a bit more power. These things don't last a heck of a long time. So um, I do probably want uh, basic capacitor. I'm going to need another one of those. So basic capacitors are pretty easy to make as well. We have one, two of those. I'm going to need four of these. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And four. That gives us those. Two of those left over. Uh, and then we need some ten levels at a time this time. Oh. Need to take everything off. So this one holding shift, 10,000 RF. Uh, the feet. 10,000 already used a bit, and that's just from landing. So um, when you fall from a height, it does use a little bit of that power up. And it drains all of the power up by upgrading it. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so I'm going to... Oh. I'm going to upgrade all of these. And then we need a double layer capacitor. And a double layer capacitor takes a little bit more... to make. And I might do it just for the boots and maybe the pants. They seem to be the things that use up uh, use up power faster than the others. So, um, so to make that I need a double and a double plus 20 levels. So double layer capacitor. Each one of those needs um, what do we need? Let's just grab some of those. Um, we're going to need... Going to need... 
I need four of those. And then the double layer capacitor. So the double layer capacitor is energetic alloy and some coal dust. So now what we're doing is I think I've got some coal dust. Yes, coal powder. And I left these things on before to make the energetic alloy, which is now coming in handy. So to those, to those, to those. And then we have our double layer capacitors. And now we need the 20 levels as well. So let's just grab... Wow, I must have added a lot of XP into that tank over the last little while. So now we can see that one's got 25,000 RF in it, which is fantastic. So uh, I'm going to do the pants as well. Done. And now when we recharge these, it's going to 15,000, 25,000. Excellent. So we've got that one. We can put it straight back in our armor slots from this interface. Awesome. And we are pretty much done. Uh, I'm actually just some ash in here. So uh, at the nether I've been collecting this nat, this ash every so often just through tunneling through things uh, and I found that while it's useless for pretty much everything it's uh, except for powering this so it, I mean it's not great power but let's face it I wasn't going to use the ashes for anything else so it's a nice easy power source to, to recharge this. It's pretty slow though so um, so yeah that's about it from me really um i just really wanted to make that armor and get that underway um i can now you know i can you can see i've got all 10 uh, levels of armor which means i can be a bit safer when i go to the nether uh, and a bit safer when i'm out looking for stuff uh, a couple of episodes ago i got one shotted by an ender mini hopefully with this now i won't get one shot at at least take him a couple of shots to do it um, which means i might actually have a chance of killing him uh, not that I really need it too much these days, just because, you know, I've got these ender lilies in here uh, to give me my ender pearls that I need. Uh, so yeah, that's all from me. Have a very, very Merry Christmas. I will not be back until uh, probably just before the new year now. Um, yeah, so uh, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.